Starting with version 16.1, the range filter dashboard item allows you to add a number of predefined date time periods that can be used to perform a selection. For example, last six months, last 12 months, quarter to date, etc. In this video, you will learn how to add and customize predefined custom periods that can be used to perform a selection. In the dashboard designer, add a range filter item and locate the position and size. Then bind the created filter to data. Drag the sales field from the data source browser to the value section and the current date field to the argument section. Next, set the current date group interval to month year and drag the category field to the series section. Click the options button next to the sales data item in the value section and select the stacked bar series type and click OK. Before 16.1, you could set filter values manually by clicking a range filter or dragging with the mouse a slider or selection. But now you can create and specify custom periods. Go to the Design Ribbon tab and click the Edit Periods button. From the window that pops up, you can see a list of predefined periods. Let's add a last year range and see how it works. Click the Close button to close the Edit Periods window. Right click a range filter and select the last year period from the context menu that appears. A range filter selection is set to the 2015 year. Now let's define a custom period. Bring up the Edit Periods window again and click the Add button. Go to the month selection and set the last three months as a period. Click OK. Change the period name to last three months and click close. If you select this period from the context menu, you'll see that a range filter selection will set to the previous three months from the current date. You can also create a custom period in the edit periods window with fixed or flow boundaries. Fixed boundaries allow you to select a specific date value using the calendar. This period does not depend on the current date. Let's create a custom period that will show a selection corresponding to the 2014 year. Change the period name to year 2014 and click close. Right click a range filter and select year 2014 period and a range filter selection is set to the 2014 year. Now let's see how to set a period with flow boundaries. Flow boundaries allow you to select a relative date value. The starting point is equal to the current date. The interval option specifies the interval between the current date and the required date, and the offset option allows you to set the number of these intervals. Negative values correspond to dates before the current date, while positive values correspond to future dates. Let's create a period that will show a year-to-date range in the previous year. Change its name to prior year year-to-date and click close. Right-click a range filter and select the created period from the menu that appears. A range filter selection is set to prior year to date or prior year to date relative to the current year. And that's it. To learn more, please refer to the documentation on our website. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.